looking at our emergency departments and doing everything that we can to keep patients and keep staff safe uh, from the transmission of the virus. So we're calling this envisioning the post-COVID pre-vaccine health and hospitals emergency department. So I think the, the phase we're in right now is a recovery resilience phase. We're on the other side of the bell curve of the first large surge. Uh, so we're taking advantage of uh, record low volumes in our emergency departments to kind of take stock of what we went through during the surge, helping our providers, our staff, our nurses uh, heal uh, from the emotional and psychological trauma. We're also taking stock of what we put in place uh, under pressure that we want to continue and hardwire, the lessons learned, uh, but also preparing for future waves uh, and especially the dreaded uh, second large peak aligned with flu season in the fall and winter that we're afraid of. having our Helping Healers Heal program in place, and that's to address second victim emotional and psychological trauma that happens in healthcare. We had over a thousand trained peer support champions. We had done over 700 one-on-one -on -one and group debriefs. <laughs> they did a great job, and you know, you. really touched my heart listening to you speaking, because I know- Because usually in the ICU, in about a week or so, you find, you know, you get a death because it's the ICU. But this time when you come in, it's like, Every day around you, you see people dying, and it was, it wasn't something that, I mean, I was expecting. So we have the respite center that we suppose you can come here and pray and you know, just meditate. But me personally, I have I have my church family, I have friends who I go who help me pray, and then um, I have friends that I work with. They also going through, so we call each other and we just cry, cry on the phone, and just comfort each other.